seeing dragons. A thought experiment about faith. Say, in a world where mythical beings have never been conceived of and everyone lives in distant villages, one village sees a dragon. The dragon is blue and snake-like and has feathers. It burns part of a town and vanishes into smoke. Now, half the town is away on vacation, so when they come back, they ask their neighbors why everything is charred. The people who stayed tell them about the dragon. Let's say half of those who are gone believe them, because why would everyone lie, plus the damage is right there. And half don't believe. Maybe everyone was fooled, or maybe it's a conspiracy. Town gets rebuilt, story spreads a bit to the surrounding distant towns, life goes on. Everyone has kids. Second generation of the town. These kids haven't seen the dragon, but they hear stories from their parents. Or they hear about how it's a weird trick that fooled people. Meanwhile, a kid from another town hears the stories and goes to their parents and cries about how they don't have dragons. To make them feel better, their parents make up a story about how a dragon came to their town. It's red and scaly and has wings, and it flew away forever one day. More or less, the amount of people in town who believe and don't believe stays the same. Rinse and repeat for the third generation. This is for simplicity's sake. Generation 4. You, dear listener, are from this one. Now, the original generation of people who did and didn't see the dragon are all gone. The majority of folks in the village still believe in the dragon, but there's a sizable minority that don't. And no one has seen the dragon. It's based on the testimony of people you've never met. The people who have written first-hand accounts cannot be questioned anymore. And a neighboring town has its own, different story that your town claims is false. Dear listener of this fourth generation, who do you trust? What do you believe? Why? What is the foundation of your faith?